For the very first time, the Gaming Weekly is going to be uploading a Stranger Things themed video, a matchup in which everyone has been requesting, a match in which everyone wished to see. It is the devastating Vecna versus the rock like Eddie Munson in a no holds barred match inside the Upside Down. Hey everybody, welcome to GameSide. Adrian Matt here at GameSide. This is going to be a unique matchup. It is Eddie Munson versus Vecna one on one in a WWE ring. TGW presenting yet again. The bell is rung, and here we go. Vecna at the early going to this matchup. Now taking it to Eddie, and look at the world here. Check out the atmosphere. Look at the environment. Dark and sinister. Look at the floor for crying out loud. This is Vecna's realm. This is Vecna's world here. And Vecna, you would imagine, has the advantage. But here comes Eddie. Eddie now with the right of his own. Taking it to Vecna. And Vecna already with a massive big boot now. Vecna, of course, was the one responsible for all the slayings in Hawkins. In fact, at one point in time, Vecna did kill Chrissy. And many people thought it was Eddie. A lot of people actually thought Eddie was guilty, that Eddie was involved. Hence the reason why Eddie became the most wanted in Hawkins. Nobody knew that it was this diabolical monster, this demon Vecna, who was once known as one, of course his name being Henry. At one point in time it was Eleven who threw Henry into the upside down and Henry took control of it. But right now it's Eddie taking control of the matchup. There's a jab, a shot to the midsection. Here comes Eddie, here comes Eddie now. Big out of the battle back, but Vecna of course now with his full body and frame. This is a no-holds-barred match, ladies and gentlemen. Anything goes here. And you best believe for Eddie, the reason why he's down to the upside down is because he wants to take revenge. Wait a minute, what does Eddie have in mind here? Oh my! Slamming Vecna back first into the apron. And now Eddie's feeling it. You gotta watch out though, Eddie. Vecna up to his feet already. Take the fight. And look at the power and strength of Vecna. Just dropping Eddie with ease onto the floor below. And look at the floor, like I said, those are tentacles. At one point in time, it's been mentioned that the upside down really is Vecna. Everything is connected to Vecna. And Vecna now introducing the first weapon of the matchup, just applying the bat across the skull. And we know that Vecna's familiar with bats in the upside down, but tonight he's actually using a different form of bats. I was just going to mention here that for Eddie here tonight, it is all about making sure that he, of course, takes control of this matchup, that he regains his life. The reason why is because Vecna is the reason behind Eddie in his image going downhill. Look at Vecna. Vecna's actually running away right now. And Eddie's not going to let Vecna run away. Eddie's actually chasing Vecna, something that not many people would see. But it looks like Vecna tricked Eddie into it. Look at the massive map now. I mean, everywhere you go, it is dark, it is gloomy, and everywhere is those those slimy tentacles, those mushy tentacles, as Vecna once again applying the pressure on Eddie with a right jab into the side of the face. But again, the matchup here is happening for a lot of different reasons. And the reason for that is because Eddie wants to make sure he kills Vecna. Eddie wants to make sure that he gets his revenge over the guy that killed Chrissy, over the guy that has killed many others, and over the guy that has ruined Eddie's life. Because of Vecna, Eddie became a person on the run little bit of a stalemate right now. Vecna is just measuring Eddie at the moment. Eddie, who of course is a rock star. Look at him. Continues the attack. There's the DDT. Face first goes Vecna. And Eddie's taking it to Vecna now. Oh my lord. Eddie continues the attack here. And Eddie, who is a fan favorite, by the way, in season four of Stranger Things. Remember the introduction of Eddie? Eddie was saying that forced conformity is the really the evil in this world. But Eddie has come across the one that has defined evil. But Eddie now is looking into the eyes of the person that has really defined what evil truly is. And that is Vecna. But Eddie's making it back into the ring. Wanting more of this fight. And look at the sinister Vecna. It's almost as if he's just standing still to regain his power. And that's exactly what just happened. Vecna now walking around. Realizing the time is now. You saw how it's sort of like a snake. Vecna just shredded and... Vecna walking slowly, but there you see, missed with the boot. Eddie now from behind and walked right into the clothesline that almost decapitated the head of Eddie here. Eddie Munson, a very popular character, like I said, a Stranger Things phenomenon inside the Upside Down where everything really is sinister. And Vecna's having his own way with Eddie. Look at this, just plants Eddie outside on the open. This is where Eddie is going to be in trouble. And this is where Vecna begins to get control. This is where Vecna begins to get powerful and dangerous right now. Once again, looking for more of an ominous 
an ominous object to use. A menacing Vecna who wants to indeed take over the world. Now introducing the table. The table's introduced. What does Vecna have in mind here, though? This is not going to be good. Vecna, oh, look at this. Eddie having other plans, though. Thwarted the plans of Vecna. There is a right of his own now. Eddie having a hold of Vecna. Whipped across the ring up and over the top of the apron. Eddie with the left hand. And Eddie beginning to battle back into this matchup. Eddie, look at this once more. Drop in Vecna's spine first into the apron here. And this is exactly what Eddie needs to do. He needs to ground the big man down. Little wasted motion here by Eddie. And Eddie's feeling it. There you go, Eddie. I'm a huge fan of Eddie as well. Eddie just attacking the right arm of Vecna. And notice how Eddie continues to attack the arms of Vecna. That is a very smart strategy. That way he can actually take the power away from Vecna. And Eddie's amazing kicks. There's a shot to the side of the face. Vecna collapsing right there to there. As Vecna though makes it back to his feet. There's a huge big boot at this point in time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something I never thought we'd see here in the Gaming Weekly. A Stranger Things themed video between Eddie and Vecna. And there's a huge story as I mentioned. Eddie wants to regain his life back. The man that took away his life, though, was none other than Vecna, who killed Chrissy. Many thought that Eddie was behind the killing of Chrissy, and many others, for that matter. But look at Vecna, though. I mean, the powerful and scary Vecna makes it back into the ring, but really is having his own way with Eddie here. Eddie has been knocked outside of the ring, and what the heck does Vecna have in mind here? Having a hold of the table. You know, one can argue that inside this world, Vecna does have all the power. That inside this world, Vecna can actually capitalize at any given time. Eddie launched back into the ring now. I do not like this. Look at this. The table just tripped over here. Vecna has to set it back up. And Eddie here has other plans. Look at this. Tripping up Vecna right there to there. Face first onto the table here. The fact that Eddie has the guts to fight back into this match. The fact that Eddie had the guts to go back into the upside down. Launched right into the post in with an Irish whip with huge force there. Vecna once again back in control and having a hold of the table now. Anything goes inside no holds barred. The pinfall and submission must take place inside the ring, but that's the only way to win the matchup now. Vecna launches Eddie. Abdominal first right into the table. And here comes Vecna. What the heck does he have in mind here? Vecna's going to have a huge plan. Eddie going for a ride. There's the suplex. The table has imploded. Eddie's body must be absolutely bruised. Eddie's body. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Vecna measuring Eddie. This is not going to be good to finish off Eddie completely here tonight. Inside the upside down. But Eddie with a counter. Eddie with a counter. Eddie with a counter on a Vecna. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. And Eddie taking it to Vecna. Work out of the left arm again. Eddie's going to take it. There's a huge shot there. Eddie out of nowhere. It was just so close before Vecna completed his finishing maneuver. And now Eddie's going to continue the submission maneuver here. Look at Eddie. It's going to make Vecna tap out in his own world. Can you imagine if Vecna taps out to Eddie inside the upside down? The world of Vecna. I mean, Vecna was the creator of the Mind Flayer, by the way. You can see now Eddie continues the assault now. But once again, Vecna out of that submission maneuver. And on the attack now with a right hand to Eddie here. And Eddie's in trouble. Planted by Vecna. Ladies and gentlemen, you can almost feel the intensity in this matchup. Oh no, wait a minute, this is not going to be good here because Vecna's just measured Eddie. And now Eddie's going to go for the ride officially. What goes up must go down. There's the tombstone like pile driver here. And that's got to be it. Hook of the leg, goodbye Eddie. Shoulders down, there's two. Eddie kicked out, Eddie kicked out. How the heck did Eddie kick out? Look at the frustration of Vecna. Vecna was saying that was three. I mean... Listen to the crowd. He could actually hear the crowd in absolute gasp when Eddie rolled the left shoulder up before the count of three, not realizing that Eddie was going to kick out there. And Vecna's not done, though. Vecna has diabolical plans in mind. Bad intentions with the steel chair. Using the steel chair as a huge weapon now. Once again, applying it onto Eddie. Continues so many different shots into the abdomen. Eddie is all battered and bruised at this point in time. Back now, there's the right hand. Vecna is so powerful, he is so fast as well. You best believe that. There's a launch right into the steel steps. And the fact that Eddie's still in this, the fact that Eddie actually kicked out out of that pile driver moments ago really shows the, the test and the fortitude, the toughness of Eddie in this matchup. He's really taking it right now. Back into the ring. Vecna now hightailing at the moment. What does Vecna have in mind? And there's that massive big boot yet again. That huge foot. Across the skull of Eddie. Vecna's about eight foot tall. 
over 300 pounds as he's now rearranging the announce table. And what does Vecna have in mind here? Oh, come on already. I mean, Vecna already put Eddie through the table once before in the ring. Don't tell me that he's going to use this as a, as a weapon. This table is a weapon. Launches Eddie's stomach first into the point of the table. That must hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, Vecna now is absolutely destroying Eddie. Eddie is in a world of trouble here. And if Eddie continues to actually let Vecna get in control, there may not be Eddie no more. Vecna once again having his way with Eddie up to vertical base, having a hold of Eddie launched right into the announce table yet again. My God, the diabolical tricks from Vecna here tonight really goes to show the amount of power that Vecna has. I mean, it was Vecna who again was thrown into this upside down because of 11. Many thought that Henry was dead. Little did they know that it was Henry that created really the upside down. He controlled every single being in the upside down. The monster's in there. The Mind Flayer. Look at Eddie now with a right of his own. You got to be kidding me. Tripping up Vecna. This is it. Here comes Vecna now. Eddie has Vecna where he wants him. You got to be kidding me. Eddie's going to make Vecna tap out. Eddie with the submission maneuver. Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Make Vecna tap out. Make Vecna tap out for what he did. He did it. He did it. Eddie wins. Eddie wins. Eddie wins. Eddie did it. Eddie has just slain his demons. Eddie Munson, ladies and gentlemen who at first ran away. Eddie Munson, who was upset with himself that he was the one that ran away. Tonight, Eddie did not run. Tonight, Eddie was the one that slayed his demons. Eddie Munson is your hero.